Ladies and gentlemen, unlock the future of batteries, solid state technology. Anticipate 100 kilowatt hour and 50 kilowatt hour batteries, transforming affordability and versatility. When will the solid state battery come? We are soon going to have a 100 kilowatt hour battery and a 50 kilowatt hour battery. Yes, friends, we have received updates on the 50 kilowatt hour battery pack and the 150 kilowatt hours solid state battery pack, semi solid state battery pack as well. And please do watch until the end of this video because I have another update from the CEO regarding the 50 kilowatt hour battery pack, and I will talk about that towards the end. So, first of all, the most mind blowing news is about the 50 kilowatt hour battery pack. This is basically NEO way of reducing prices without causing losses to existing NEO owners. Now, what do I want to say? And by the way, NEO CEO has said that this is coming very soon, so we can expect it to launch in the next couple of months. How will all this impact everything? First, we need to understand NEO pricing. In China, the price of NEO ET5 is there. If you want to see it in US dollars, just divide it by 7.2. So we can see that with the battery, especially with a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, the price substantially increases. But if you buy the car without the battery, you can see that it's priced at 228,000, and the only difference is the monthly fee. So right now, the policy is very good. People are buying cars without the battery. But the price of the car with the battery is still quite high. The cheapest is 298,000, so the starting price is actually 298,000 RMB. Now, how will the 50 kilowatt hour battery pack look? This is what it will hypothetically look like. The starting price with the battery will definitely be 100% lower. It may be reduced by about 40,000 RMB, so it could start at 258,000 RMB initially. All right the price will remain the same without the battery. And if you go with just the chassis, you'll face a slightly lower monthly fee. So, this is the game-changing part. You're starting at a much lower price now, 258,000 RMB. And with NEO, you're not stuck with that battery pack you choose. So, if you choose a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack and are going for long range, you can temporarily upgrade to 75 or 100 for a day or two. That's the beauty of NEO, and it doesn't cost much extra, so it really makes sense for people to make the 50 kilowatt hour battery pack part of their purchase. And then, if needed, they can rent the higher capacity battery for some time if they need to drive longer distances. And this makes the car much more affordable. At the same time, they're not harming the interest of existing NEO owners. You can say to existing NEO owners, why did they reduce the price of the car? No. The price of the car is the same with your chosen battery capacity. It's just a new battery pack with less range. It's cheaper. Only the battery is cheaper, all right, for the lower range battery. So this is actually a very good win-win scenario. And if they really price it aggressively and offer a super low price, maybe even less than 258,000, then man, this will really boost sales. Starting price of 258,000 RMB. This will help a lot in sales. People will only choose this battery pack because currently, with flexible battery upgrades, no one chooses a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. People are buying the car with 75 and only renting 100 when needed. With this new battery pack, 50 people are buying it for 50 and then leasing it out for 75 or 100 or even 150 when needed. So, this is quite significant, recognizable, and of course, if people want, they can upgrade to a higher capacity battery pack permanently. So, this all makes sense. Lowering the entry price of the car actually helps in sales. So, you can also expect an increase in sales from this. Now, what's happening with the 150 kilowatt hour battery pack? The CEO has already tested it. So, here's the whole scene about the 150 semi-solid state battery pack. NEO wants to reduce costs, and costs are quite high because the yield is not right. The quantity of battery cells passing quality control tests is not what they like. Okay, it could be said that the yield is bad. 
Now, maybe the yield is not bad. The yield is good, and according to the CEO, it is improving. But this is not their desired standard yet. So, this means they will need some time to polish things up. Now, the other truth to speak is that this 150 kilowatt hour battery pack will only be available for lease, and it will not be available for purchase initially because production will be quite low, and the pricing of the battery will also be very challenging. So, it will be on rent if needed, so take it on lease. If not needed, just use your 75 or 150 for your daily commute. So, this actually makes it very reasonable. And it also makes sense to lease this battery because you won't need a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack every day. So, let's hear what the CEO has to say about all this. CEO has said all this. For 150 kilowatt hour, we are particularly stringent in implementing this standard. Its yield rate has always been low. We have to control the yield rate of each cell. There are so many battery cells in the car and so many batteries in the pack. When multiplied, the overall package yield rate decreases slightly. If the yield rate is low, it means that the cost will be especially high. We are still improving the yield rate, and by improving this yield rate a bit more, costs can be reduced. For example, if we feel that a battery or battery cell is not up to standard, these cells will become scrap. The big problem is that they cannot be used in any other way. They are not like any other thing. If you don't suggest fixing them, they will be scrapped. The yield rate is closely related to cost. We are still increasing the yield rate, which has improved compared to before. Therefore, for a 150 kilowatt hour battery, we can only provide them on a rental basis. We cannot sell them because as soon as you sell them, the question arises of how much you want to price it. If you set a high price, everyone will think that we are just here to make a profit. If you set a low price, you will incur losses, and we do not want to incur more losses. That's why we still use the rental method. One advantage of the rental method is that they don't really need to drive the car with 150 kilowatt hour daily, and they only use it occasionally. Second, when I start, I get less output. Then if I just rent it out, more people will use it, which can be used for more users, and when the price decreases, it will be beneficial. If I incur a little loss, that's okay. This is for a 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.